Hey guys, this is Rob from Asus, and in this video we'll be looking at the ePad Transformer Prime. It's the latest tablet from Asus, and we're also going to look at the ePad Transformer Prime's keyboard docking station, something that really sets it apart from other tablets. So let's crack into this box and see what comes inside. Performance-wise, this is pretty much the fastest tablet out there right now. The Transformer Prime has NVIDIA's Tiger 3 quad-core mobile processor. It's also got one gigabyte of RAM and two storage options that actually come in at the exact same price point as the original Transformer. So the 32 gigabyte version is still $499 uh, with an added version now of 64 gigabytes that just adds $100 up to $599. So pretty much the same baseline price if you're looking at comparable storage. So obviously it's a really nice device here, really nice uh, spun aluminum finish. It's really similar to what you had on the Zenbook for example. So let's put that aside for a moment and look at what else comes inside the box. So first we got this uh, sort of feature packet right here. Look at some of the uh, special features that come on the transformer. Inside this is your uh, user manual and also your warranty card. So definitely sign up for the warranty, you don't want to forget that. Underneath that you have a microfiber cleaning cloth, helps to keep your tablet fingerprint free and looking good. And finally, we have the same charging apparatus that we had on the transformer. Plugs in really easily like that. And it is a, a USB connection. So you can charge this either plugging into your laptop or plugging into the actual uh, charger that we have here. So let's put this stuff aside and have a closer look at some of the inputs and outputs on this thing. So on the bottom half, we have the latches for the docking station and the charging port. On the right hand side we have a headphone jack and a single speaker as well. On the top we have an 8 megapixel camera with flash, the microphone port and a power button. And on the left hand side we have a micro SD slot, a micro HDMI slot and a volume toggle. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the OS on the Transformer Prime. So obviously, you know, that does still run Android 3.2 Honeycomb. So there's not much different here from the Droll Transformer, although it does have some additional menu items. Now this is going to switch to Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich very soon with an over-the-air update. But until then, we can see that, you know, the things that are different here, we've got uh, different power modes now. So a power saving mode, we've got a, a balanced mode, a high performance, uh, it's called normal speed mode. And what's interesting to note with these is that when we're on the balance mode, for example, we're actually using a fifth companion core. So I mentioned this is a quad-core tablet, but it does actually have a fifth core on it. And what that core does is obviously uses a lot less uh, battery life, and it really runs the desktop quite smoothly when you're not using really graphic-intensive tasks. So if I load up a game, obviously it's going to switch to the Tega 4 uh, or Tega 3 quad-core processor. But until then, it's running quite nicely on that companion core and because of that it's going to get around 12 hours of battery life on this tablet. Now something else that really helps with battery life too is if you can turn the screen brightness down. So right now I've got it you know obviously a little bit too dark for, for the setting we have now but if it's brighter uh, it's going to be a lot easier to use outdoors. So this is a really bright panel and it's an IPS display which means that if I tilt this to the side you can see that it actually stays quite clear. You can see the picture really nicely even though you're viewing from a, a really uh, steep angle. Now what's really cool about this display is actually it's not just an IPS display it's actually a super IPS plus display and it's really hard to tell on my camera because it's going to auto adjust for the brightness but if I hit this button here it's actually going to increase the brightness by about 10 or 20 percent and that's really going to help for outdoor readability so like I mentioned, it's really hard to tell on the camera because the camera's going to auto adjust to the different brightness, but that is a really handy button and really helps for outdoor viewing. So let's open up a game and you can show off some of the different graphics on this thing. So this is Riptide, and we'll try a simple race. I'm not very good at this game to let you know, but it does really showcase the graphics on the Prime. So I just have to tilt basically left and right to to control it and it really showcases the cool 3D graphics
you can see you have this really cool splashback. It looks really free. This is a, a great showcase of what the NVIDIA Tegra quad-core processor can do. So let's jump now to looking at uh, the keyboard dock a little bit more in detail. Let's pull the top off this thing. And here we have, this is the ePad Transformers keyboard docking station. So this of course is sold separately. It's $150, whether you get the 32 or 64 gigabyte version, it works on both. And you can see it's extremely thin. This is really nice looking. And it has a similar backing to what you had on the transformer itself. This time it's more of a, a brushed aluminum rather than that radial design. Has really nice feet here. Uh, it does actually add quite a few additional ports too. Obviously your charging station is on the left hand side here when it's docked. And on the right hand side, you've got a full SD card reader here and the addition of a USB 2.0 port. So that's really handy. And it's really nice uh, chiclet keys here. Look at this a little bit more detail in a moment, but we do also have uh, a nice touchpad. And if you wanted to, you could actually plug a mouse into that USB 2.0 port and the mouse would work. The tablet itself docks really easily into the dock. All I have to do is line up these two dots and it clicks right into place. If you wanted to remove it, all you have to do again is just flip this latch and it will come straight out. So you can see the dock actually adds quite a few different additional features. For example, I have a mute button, volume controls, I can launch my browser from here really easily. I can also um, adjust screen brightness, uh, turn on and off the Wi-Fi. Quite a few different features are built into this. I can launch settings, take a screenshot. I even have additional function keys here too where I can basically page up, page down, uh, home and keys that you'd find on a basically a Windows keyboard. And what's interesting to note is that when this is docked, it basically does act a lot like a full notebook. I mean, this is uh, pretty much like a netbook, you could call it. It functions um, very efficiently. I mean, I can I can walk around with this, a nice clamshell design, throw it into my backpack now. It's quite sturdy, but it does have all the features you'd expect in both a tablet and a notebook with this full keyboard. All right, so that's the ePad Transformer Prime. Pretty much one of the lightest and most powerful tablets out there. Tega 3 quad core, 1.29 pounds and only 0.33 inches slim. Definitely one of the best tablets you can get and only 499 for 32 gigabyte model. So thanks for watching guys. We'll have another video looking at the actual uh, video quality that the Transformer Prime can record itself. And uh, until then, don't forget to subscribe to ASUS North America on YouTube and thanks for watching.